I will bring it up on my phone so I can give some feedback from there. You are a mod on Twitch, by the way. Oh, awesome! I can tell people to play nice. And ban people with the ban hammer. Oh, I have a ban hammer? Um, well, I'm not sure what hammers do mods have, but I'm sure that banning is one of the items. Alright, and I'll just send this flank here. Excellent. Yeah, it's looking smooth now. Uh, YouTube moves faster than Twitch, that. interestingly. Ah, huh. I did not realize. Maybe I didn't turn on a um, low latency mode on Twitch or something. I got it on ultra low on YouTube. But yeah, everything is running very smoothly now compared to, um, well, that day, Sunday, two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably All because right. I'm so... not double encoding this time. Okay, yeah, so let's uh, begin here. So, um, hi everyone. I, there's no one in channel yet, but this is Dragon in White here, and we are joined with Fluffy Glo Goblin. Good morning. Yep, yeah, stumbled on the name a bit. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> this is kind of like the second time we're streaming, just a chill session. We're playing Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and dang it, this is one of the things I hate about controllers. Um, I'll explain in a while. But yeah, so uh, we're playing through Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Fluffy is an experienced player with another character and she started a character here to play with me. Meanwhile, this is my first go at this and I am still quite lost with a lot of things. Okay, yeah, so I was actually okay. complaining. It won't take us long to... It won't take a whole long, lot of time to, to learn the system. It is complex, but honestly, that's, I think, part of the charm. Um... For Final Fantasy XIV as a MMO, and it is relatively easy to pick up. They give you plenty of time to learn it. So, that's good. What are we learning today? Well, firstly, I would like to comment that I, that in between stream, I be, did a bit of grinding. As you can see, I'm currently level nine with uh, about one thousand EXP to go to level up. So I thought that instead of going all the way to ten, I I would do it on stream and also. Um, do a, a, a crafting class upgrade to show you guys online so that I have it on tape. So at level... Right. And at level 10, just for those of you who don't know, um, you're able to pick up some of the other base classes. Um, for example, he's playing a uh, pugilist. If you want to pick up a gladiator at level 10, you can do that. That's one of the starting classes. And you can pick up the crafting classes at level 10 as well. Okay, so, um, for those of you who are seeing my screen, you'll probably see two sets of hot bars. So apparently FF14 is quite, uh, customizable in a lot of ways. Uh, and I somehow managed to get it to work with both the controller and the keyboard and mouse at the same time. Uh, of course the trick is everything is displayed in keyboards, I think. Um, but yeah, so you can see that I have the crossbar or aka the hotbar for controllers on this side and this is the keyboard hotbars which are separate which is wonderful. Um, I left it in mouse mode because you get these tiny icons at the corner and yeah, so this is the controller I'm using. Fortunately, I have one of these around so I found that the game is a lot more optimized for controller compared to mouse and keyboard and in fact I think this is better for stream cause it kind of uh, it pans the camera more smoothly than I can with the mouse so fluffy it's also in my opinion more comfortable <laughs> yeah so yes. what kind of setup do you have are you pure controller or are you using a hybrid I am pure controller, and I'll actually have to uh, we'll have to talk about your setup a little bit because there's a kind of nifty thing that you can do with your controller to ensure that you have all of your uh, options available at all times. So if you go to let's see your character 
You go to your settings and your character configuration. Um, wait, sorry. Settings and character configuration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on one second. And you go down to your hotbar settings. Okay. So the first option I'll give you is your display. You want to go ahead and tab all the way over to custom. Got it. And if you hit uh, enable expanded controls with left and right trigger. And then select for the first drop down box, cross hotbar to left. To left. And two right, I assume. Yep, and the next one will be two right. And then you go to the box below that, enable WXHB with simultaneous. And make sure you have enable directional and action buttons on that. Okay. And then go ahead and do cross hotbar left and cross hotbar three right. Okay, I think I have a rough idea what this might mean. So if you go ahead and hit apply, okay, apply. What this will do is if you pull your uh, right trigger twice in quick nice. succession, that will give you a whole another set. Left trigger twice, left trigger, hold left trigger, then right, and hold right, then left. So that if you do the um, Make sure you're holding them both. So, if, yeah, that'll give you that center one. So, this will give you a total of six groups of eight uh, hotbar op options that you can pretty Wait. quickly do while you're in a dungeon. Hang on. Six group of eight. Hang on. Okay. So, left double tap is one group. Uh, as in normal one tap one group, right tap one group, yep. right double tap two groups. Uh, if I press on both together, I get one group. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It only looks like one right now. It's if you're holding your right and then pull left trigger, and if you're holding your left then pull right trigger. Those are two separate groups. Ah, okay. So basically, right first and left, then left first and right. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 yeah. cool. And that makes it actually really, really fast, um, rather than, you know, if reaching for the mouse, to just kind of pop. You, the only difficult thing is you have to remember kind of what your rotations are and where you've put those buttons. So that's the benefit of the hybrid system, because I got a keyboard hotbar, and I could always just stretch my right. finger out and tap a number. And that'll definitely give you an advantage when you're looking at, like, where you want to put your mouse or your mounts for your hot bars, and where you want to put your potions and your food. There's a lot of, a lot of options, and a lot of things that end up going on your hot bar. But are... it happens gradually, so you don't have to worry about getting overloaded with a lot of information really quickly. Good. Uh, there are certain operations I still find more comfortable with using the mouse for. Um, especially like settings. Sometimes when I press A to select the enemy, it just selects the wrong enemy. It's a bit easier to just move to oh. the mouse and click the right thing sometimes. Yes, the targeting system can be a little frustrating on controller. There's a way to kind of streamline that as well. Um, uh, direction buttons? If you... <laughs> Not necessarily. Uh, the direction buttons will help you cycle through your options. But if you go back to the character configuration menu and you go to filters um, under your controller settings, you'll have two options for what to target when. Oh, hang on. Well, that again? So, so um, controller settings. Controller and uh, then system of it. Not it. It's character configuration. Perfect. You're in the right place. Okay. So the very top red button on the side is going to be your controller configuration. So down, there you go. Con it looks like the little X. The little X. Oh, this thing. Okay, control Red settings. button. Yep. And then tap over to filters. 
Okay. And you can deselect NPCs and options while your weapon is drawn. So while your weapon's drawn, the only thing that you'll target are enemies, aggroing enemies, and duty specific enemies. Hmm. So okay. you just want to deselect NPC and objects. Yep, and then hit apply. And when you are prepared for combat, but not yet in combat, if you draw your weapon by hitting the left thumbstick, just clicking it in. Yeah, cool. Now, when you select a enemy, when there are enemies around, you'll only select enemies. Okay, nice. Um, also, a friend of ours is interested in joining us. That is up to you. I don't oh. know if you, you want her to... They are welcome. I Hold am on. assuming it's the friend I'm thinking of. It is our old editor friend. Alright. Yeah, she's welcome to join us. Is she going to be overpowered? Right. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to kind of fly in and say hi or what the plan is hold on one second okay let me see if how do I I'd have to actually invite her in. Oh, this can happen meet call, huh? will be on in a few minutes and she will join us excellent okay meanwhile I sorry screwed about up the delay. My, <laughs> i screwed up my twitch uh, layout here i accidentally closed the chat because there's this guy coming in to advertise selling followers and viewers which is kind of just silly yeah that's that's a little rude Unless you, you know the streamer and have approved it, never try to advertise in somebody else's stream. It's just, you know, basic manners. Hello? Hello! Hello! We have a mind! I cannot hear the people. Um, oh. try speak. You can hear us? Right. Hello? Oh. Hello? Uh, no. Let me stop. Oh, you can hear me. No, 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 I'm an idiot. That's not what I wanted. Uh, voice and video. Ah. Uh, okay, that can hear. Okay, no, we'll uh, edit a uh, little bit of this out, I'm assuming. Uh, hmm. I, can, I can cut some out, but we are live, so... It's Here we are, live. Here we go! Yay. Welcome, Mind! We are live streaming on Twitch and YouTube, I believe? Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, let me log in. Mind is... Uh, she actually trained me as an editor on Dragon's... One of Dragon's old novels um, that we worked to together... We worked on together for a little bit. Yep. And she is going to be our wonderful, wonderful healer. Yay! Now, if only we had Party her the last time. I, well, we picked a fight with something that was six levels, seven levels higher than we were. Um, seven, yeah. We were, were level five. It was level 12. Yeah. <laughs> 
Where did you run off to? Uh, I was inside the adventurous cube. Oh, okay. We are in Old Da, by the way, mind. Okay. And we, we are level there. 10. We are babies. How cute. <laughs> Alright, well, you still need a little bit of experience. Do you have any quests you need to finish first, Dragon? I could grab the main quest once I figure my controls out here again. Uh, that yes, way. we should get going back on the MSQ. There's so much story. So oh there is a couple story. of gripes that I do have with controls. Uh, I kind of wish we moved slightly faster, like maybe 20%. Oh, you can. If you look at your, it's temporary, but if you look it at is. your options on your bars, you'll have a sprint ability. I see that. And that will make you move much faster. Not by much. That time. all the time, like in cities and everything. Yeah, I wish that was kind of default speed. Wait, I thought yeah. I had another. Oh, oh nice. that one. Okay. Yep. Gonna grab this one. This is my class quest. Ah. You do Basics. still have your level 5 class quest. So the class quest, you'll have every 5 levels until you hit level 50. Okay. And then it gets a little bit wonky because then you start getting class quests every uh, 2 or 3 levels. Okay, so... Did you want see. me to bring in B or make a new character? That is entirely up to you. Well, I'm already in with Beatrix. Uh, okay, you're gonna be... well, come say hi. You're going to be bored okay. if you come in with a overpowered character. That's for one. It's okay. She's a healer. Yeah. True. And it'll it'll um, level sync me with anything when we do that dungeons, you're doing. Yeah. So. so there's this wonderful uh, mechanic in this game where um, you can actually do dungeons with lower level characters through what's called level sync and what that does is it reduces your level to the maximum level allowed for that particular dungeon or instance so and it, it does reduce um the amount of abilities you can use you only get access to the abilities you can use at the level that the dungeon is set at oh, that's nice um yeah, yeah i'm supposed yeah, to pick really up convenient. some drop skills which i'm Having to search for... Oh! Yes, that is actually going to be over by the Gladiator's Guild. What? But there's one raid circle here. Right. Trust me, it's over by the Gladiator's Guild. This city is easy oh, to get lost in. I... So we'll go this way to the main Aetherite. Hey, I'm about to TP there. Cool. Then what's up with all the red circles then? The greens what the green circles? The red the circle. circles. Mike. Circles are orange. Oh, well They're... I know which one is dragon. <laughs> Add friend. Send friend request. Whatever. Okay. There we go. And I know which one is fluffy. <laughs> Hi! Stop bouncing so I can friend you. <laughs> Never. You're so cute. Alright, we have to go clean up some gill that some lady dropped. Uh, not the lady. The... That one I done. The... Pugilist... Guy. Yeah, the, the Pugilist one. Wait, the, the pugilist, pugilist wants you to pick up? Is it Pugilist or Pugilist? It's Pugilist. pugilist. I just say Pugilist to be funny. I think it's pronounced with an F rather than a P. Do you yeah, see then... anything sparkling on the ground? Okay, there's some of it, some of it is in the uh, guild. There's some everywhere, from the looks of it. Uh... Yeah, uh, and I know there's some by the Black Mage Guild, the Mature Guild. Ah, found. Okay, hiding in the corner. Oh, Faded Gill. Okay, that's slightly different than the Dropped Gill. There is another quest in this city yep. over by the... The Reach Lady. Yep, where... Yeah, she... You startle her and she drops some gill you gotta pick up. Yeah, I have only done that quest once because you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but it's good money and 
EXP. Well, free money. Well, it's like, you know, low effort. That's true. But you're going to level so fast that you're going to be like me, level 72 in Justin Heaven's Word expansion. Oh, yeah, that's... that reminds me. What's the maximum level? Right, right now, now? it is me. But we suspect it will be changing soon. But right now, it's what? 80. 80. 80. Okay. Um. So let's... She's far more experienced at this game than I am. Far more. I can tell. I might have been playing for a long time now. Uh, okay, so here's the other thing. We have 10,000 mana, or well, MP. Yep. What's up with that? What do you that mean? Is... <laughs> Standard. Uh, I think when you're starting out, if you're playing an actual casting class, I think you end up earning more as you level. Like your stats go up and you get more. Um, melee classes don't really worry about MP. Well, I'm level 72 and I've still got 10,000, so I don't think it goes up. Yeah, that's why I or got it curious about really? that. Yep. Your like, HP I does go up. Adventurous guilt, by the way. I have never, I have never had to use my MP. I've yeah. played mostly melee classes, uh, either melee tank classes or melee DPS. Um, and I haven't really had anything to do with MP, so she would be a much better person to ask about the casting classes and like the healing. With the MP, you eventually in most classes that use spells get um, something called lucid dreaming that helps you regenerate MP really fast. And so it's not a big deal most of the time. Oh, um, yeah, I just found it strange I, I had so much MP and I'm not using anything, any of it. Shiny beats. Yeah, it's because in this game you can play multiple classes on the same character. So you just have MP all the time and some classes use it and some don't. I do quite like the concept that you can have everything with one character. Always love that. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I remember there was this one other game. I can't quite remember what it was. I actually like that concept a lot as well. Whereby... You level your skills not by putting in skill points, but by using the skill, and you gain proficiency in the skill. Yeah, that's a cool way to do it too. This one, you just get them as you level. Yeah, which is fine. And they have lots of guides out there for when you get what abilities and what spells. No need to worry There's about some... uh, stats as well. Right. Yeah. Your stats come with all of your equipment and automatically increase as you level up. But it does help to add materia, which you will learn about later. Oh boy. Materia. Yes. Please tell me it's not like uh, <laughs> FF9? I think it was 9. Of... Or is it 10? I only played a little bit of 9. I can't remember one of I... them, but... Okay, so materia in that particular version affects your stat increase whenever you level up. So if you, say, have a material with a plus one strength, that means every level you level with that material, you get plus one strength. Which means you don't right. want to level up until you got a good material. This gives you a hard increase, so it does not continue to increase with your level. Um, but there are different ranks of the same type of material, so a certain type of material will only give you a certain type of skill boost. Um, for example, there's a specific type of materia that only gives you boost to your critical, uh, critical hit. Rank one will give you two points to your critical hit, whereas rank six gives you 24, I think? I could be wrong. I'm well, probably wrong. I'll get to that point eventually. Okay, we get to punch something. Um, we go to... Let's go punch something! West... Tanel... Tanelan? Tanelan, yeah. Tanelan. Yeah. 
Panelanolan, as Fluffy calls it. That's not me. That's not you. No, it's my, it's my human. Your human says that. Okay. With my with. my bonded human, I guess. <laughs> Wait, we can go out this gate. As Dragon oh. is doing. No. Wait. Is this west? Or is this central Thanos? This I think this is this west. west. No, that's the map says this one. <laughs> So, uh, I think I got, yeah, I got this one. What's the purple one in the middle again? The purple one in the middle. Okay, hang on, I gotta um, reset my controller. So, this is one of the things which is a bit strange about this game. It occasionally jumps over to another device for a controller for me. Ooh. That's not good. I play with mouse and keyboard, so I can't really help with controller issues. He's um, playing with both. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you actually look you at my stream, I actually managed to make both work with each other. I have to go to the interwebs. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Spin. So yeah, so thanks. So I was uh, explaining at the start of stream how that worked, but basically now I have two sets of hotbar, one for controller and one for uh, the keyboard, which means I get double the hotbar. Nice. I see. That was <laughs> Interesting very <setup>. confusing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got a we have to catch this up. should go if you need it. My bad. I was watching the stream. <laughs> Wee! Oh, as you're wandering around, Dragon, you'll notice little kind of circular wavy icons above some of the monsters. Uh huh. Those icons are telling you that those monsters are in your hunting log. When you kill a certain number of those monsters, you'll get experience. Lots more XP. I did notice that one. Items. Mm. Doesn't look like you have any cactars to I got those take kit. care of. I killed a bunch already. Okay, yeah. So you know what? So you know what you're looking for then. Yeah. Um. Good shot. Okay. Fine. I punched a stone. Oh. Okay. Good. 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 There's something to whack. So, Yay! this is something that took me a while to figure out as well, but uh, queuing up of the queue, apparently, I, I did a bit of trial and error, and apparently you can queue it up uh, in the, uh, like, in the last quarter of your, of your queue cooldown. Yeah. I think? Something like that. I did a bit of experimenting, and that seems to be the number. Uh, it kind of frustrated me at first having to wait for cooldowns and after a while I realized I could actually just queue it up. Yeah, it's me, it little sprite! It's me! <laughs> right, you're the tank. I forgot. I've been playing single player for yep. quite a while. <laughs> yep, I have to worry about taking the hits. You just gotta have to worry about giving them. And she could worry about trying to keep me alive. Yay! Don't think it won't be that hard. You're tiny. It's true. And I'm I mean tiny. in level and in size. You, <laughs> you are you are on keyboard, so you gotta F you can press F2 for to get her easily, right? Oh, she yeah. can just click on my name on the, the sidebar yeah, if my health starts going do. down. Yeah. You can do that and cycle through your allies. Um, on controller as well. Just direction rather button. than left and right for your directional buttons, you'll do up and down to cycle through your allies. Yeah. Oh, so I can just stretch my pinky out and I'll just stretch my pinky out for F3 or F2. That works. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick up a couple of I actually here. I didn't realize it did that. What? Oh, you didn't realize about the... Okay. The F2... Yeah, that you could use the F2 
hotkeys to target allies. It's handy. Okay, I'm just going to pick up a couple of quests here. So if you guys got quests here, just grab them as well. Honestly, I would recommend actually sticking with the main storyline. You're going to level and get so much experience from that alone that keeping up with the storyline is going to be relatively easy level-wise. But having the story keep up with your levels is what's going to be a little bit more difficult and frustrating. Ah. Yes, indeed. That's the reverse problem for most other games. Exactly. Okay, so this one, oh, worth picking you up. You should talk to Amy. No, maybe. We're picking up Amy. Yeah, because she this has where blue. the heart is. Yep. Except. Okay, goblet. Oh, got the land. Covered the option off. Lugger. Oh, is this where I get land? Oh no! A parasite ladybug! Oh, well that's that's, that's not me. I did that one already. <laughs> are we doing scorpion crossing? We are doing... Um, we we are doing where that. the heart is, right? The goblet? And I think I've so, already done it, which is why I can't do it. <laughs> this quest, if I remember correctly, this is for the PvP, isn't it? Yeah, PvP. The go uh, wait, what? I'm part? gonna take down a few hammer big first. Plus, I'm it's greedy. to get into the residential area. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be nice, because uh, for a while, I looked up online on how to get uh, a nice character um, screenshot. So apparently the best way is I can use the residential area and have it against a green wall or, or white wall and it'll be easy to remove the background. And uh, since I didn't have the residential area yet, I just found the plainest background I could find in Alda and I photoshopped the thing. Smart. Yes, I used the brush and manually removed the site. Took me about 15 minutes. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, considering that I have a what you might call it, uh, drawing tablet. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, that that make things easier. Done. Okay. Uh, turn in the quest. Nope. Where do I turn in that quest? Oh, so far. I okay, definitely I'll... have the wrong quest. Quest. I'll turn that in That's another okay. time. Okay, goblet. Let's set the goblet and then but yeah, so uh if I don't think mine's in it yet, but uh I I, I sent I sent an early version of it to Fluffy already. So basically that's uh my character on that with the current crappy cloth villager like equipment. <laughs> Yeah, I might update hey, it's that. it's where you're starting. Yeah, oh, so, you know, that having the residential area will probably help with uh, updating it, I suppose. I could do a green screen and easily erase background. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Itch. Yep. think I've ever been to the goblet now that I think about it. Huh. Well, not if you can do that quest. <laughs> well, I mean on, on my other characters as well. I don't think oh, I've ever okay. been. So let's oh. just when you click go through the, the area it'll give you an option to select a ward. Just go ahead and leave it on ward number one and then hit select. Select Travel to the ward. First ward, okay. This place is actually really, really cool and a, a very interesting aspect to this game. 
um, where you can actually build your own house if you have enough gill for it. Uh, you can craft a lot of the components that you'll need to build and decorate your own house as well. And you can buy an apartment if you don't want to buy a full house. A lot of the house is very expensive and very difficult, though. Yes. A lot of ease into that. (laughs) A lot of the so most in most MMOs, we know of them as guilds, player run guilds in this game. They are called free companies. And a lot of the free companies will have their own housing unit where players can um, put their chocobos up in the stable to change their color or to train them. um, Where you can buy an apartment in your FC housing and where you can even plant and grow uh, certain components for cooking or alchemy. Oh, uh... By the way, could you, one of you check out my Twitch or YouTube and see if my voice is coming out there? Yeah. Hello. Okay, so, uh, yep, so housing, we will get that. Uh. Oh. Okay, might be something screwed up with the settings. Ah, yes. Yeah, it is absolutely not. None of our voices are coming through on the Twitch. Okay, hang on. I got me this. Work on that. Output. That explains why. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause the stream for a second. Well, okay. Well, so, uh, the good thing is I got it on recording, so our voices are there, we just aren't there live. Um, I will throw up the recording when I can find time to edit. Video edit, that is. Uh, but this time, voices should be up. Alright, let me double check this Twitch stream. Yep, uh... Hello, hello! Yep. You hear me? Oh, wait. Dang it. I gotta click this. Okay. Now do you hear me? I hear you. Twice. Yeah, Yeah, okay. That's good. But we don't hear us. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. I, I, I hear all that too. Okay. So what's going on right here is because of my way of, um capturing the audio so i have this um i have this capturing the audio in three tracks so track one is the game audio track two is my voice track three is discord unfortunately i cannot uh, record the two of you separately i would love to do so but that's not possible unless i have set up something very convoluted and complicated but uh no point for that so um yeah, so because of that, the stream was set to stream of audio track 1, which is, uh... Yep, that was a Just mistake. Just the game audio. Yeah. Sorry about that, Tuna Emperor. Yeah. We thank you very much for the feedback. We yes, had no thank idea. You. So, yeah, it, it's fine though. I got the recording of all the old audios anyway, so that, that works and that puts out. And, um... Uh, So rather than it not being fair to me, it's more being unfair to you because I think at this point in time, you are the only watcher here. So yeah. Uh, Yeah, so what I did right now is to set my audio stream to stream channel uh, track 4, which I have all all three mixed into this one track, one channel. Okay, let's see. uh, Housing, residential district. Uh, Actually, you explained all this to me earlier, right? Yes. So... Uh, I'm going to go over it just real quick one more time. So the way that this area works is this is a player housing area. Uh, Individual players can get either houses or apartments. Apartments are a little bit cheaper, smaller space, but cheaper to decorate and cheaper to purchase. Um, And in this game, guilds are known as free companies or FCs. And a lot of the houses you see in the background here uh, most likely belong to different FCs in the game. And they allow their indiv- like their group players to actually purchase apartments in the main house, as well as 
uh, stable chocobos to do color changes and training, and uh, little garden areas to grow different materials that you may use in cooking or alchemy. There are also optional trading dummies. So if you have a free company, you can go to your free company's house, and if they have a training dummy, uh, dummy you can practice your different abilities and your different rotations there. Do oh, we can dummies? go ahead and actually take a look at some of these, too. Uh, let me complete the quest. Hang on. Uh, options. Okay. There we go. Speak to recruit. Um... Wait, so these houses belong to the free companies? So how do we get yeah, one of our let's own? Go take a look. Well, to get a free company house of our own, we'd have to form a free company, which we can absolutely do. Um, Mind would have a lot more, or Beatrix would have a lot more information on that than I would. Um, and then it's just a matter of having enough gill, which is a little bit more problematic as you need a lot of yes. gill. <laughs> yes, uh, speaking of gills, I noticed that we didn't get gills from killing monsters. And I'm a bit of a you hoarder. I don't sell <laughs> unless it's ne necessary. So that does and in pre dungeons, you'll get them as drops. Ah. Yes. And you'll get them from quests, and there's a whole bunch of other areas. Now, one thing to kind of be take note of is you don't want to you can go into the garden areas but you probably don't want to step into a random house we there is a basic kind of etiquette in this game where you, you treat others houses similar to how you would in real life you don't just walk into somebody else's house but you can see a good example of um, how did. this like you just did uh, how this <laughs> fc is kind of constructed there's um, and there's so many different customization options that you can use whatever style you want. Um, you can use various decorations. This one has a lovely kind of Japanese garden area that I think is really pretty. This one has a nice um, white wall which would have been very helpful to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So... Okay, I, it's quite interesting. Dummies, Wait, you're supposed to reset them, by the way. How, so how do you reset? Oh, okay. I right click. <laughs> so, I think it's quite interesting that, that uh, there's all this etiquette here. In any other game, we will have just. If it's open to anyone to go in, we'll just barge right in and do whatever, whatever we want in there. Yeah. This. This game's this so game's... established. Right. And there are also mechanics that support the uh, community etiquette. For example, once you start doing dungeons, uh, you'll be able to, at the end of a dungeon, give a player commendation to one person that you ran the dungeon with. But you can also blacklist players. And the more often a player is blacklisted, the less often... Um, You'll, you'll actually see them in different parties and groups and they can build a kind of in-game mechanical reputation. So you do want to be careful how you treat others in this game. It matters. Yeah, that's pretty well thought out. But what, what about repercussions from like breaking this, uh, you know, housing etiquette? Like you said, uh, it'll, it, it'll probably just be a little bit awkward <laughs> at first. I don't know if there's any particular mechanic supporting not going into other people's houses. So if you right click or whatever click it equals on the controller, the signs in front of the houses, they'll tell you what FC they are, if they're owned by an individual, who that individual is. American Laser Sharks. This is the aquarium. American laser sharks. That's great. Okay, cool. It's it's very American. That's for sure. <laughs> now you were saying something about uh, apartments earlier. Um, let me look at the map. The apartments are usually near an entrance. Yeah, they're at the back entrance. The Sultana's Breath. 
Will you lead us there? It's really easy to get lost in these areas. Sure. Go straight this, go way. this way. Here, here, here. Use this. Okay. We can go that way. I was going to go around the outer edge. I. Oh, I, there's an Ethernet shard over here. Oh, I got, he's I got so lazy much smarter and... than me. <laughs> I, I figured that mastering the map is uh, key to navigating, so I made sure to look at the map. That's good. Can we go in? You can go in. Um, you can go to a specified apartment um, if oh. someone has it open, but you might run into them, which, could again, could be awkward. And you can also choose to go into the lobby. Now, it's getting so an apartment, fancy. is that, e I think that would be much easier than getting a house, right? Yes, Since, and much less costly. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to get a house, that depends on there being an empty plot, correct? Right. So, are all the plots filled up, or are they always adding new plots? They don't add new plots very often. Um, so, usually you have to wait. Once a month, the there is an auto kind of clearing mechanic that the game does where it boots out anybody who hasn't been logged in for, I think, 30 days that owns a house. And so players wait for that to occur, and then they all jump on the houses that get open, that open up, basically. Cool. Uh, and apartments is just unlimited, right? Given that it's just an instance? They are not unlimited. There's a certain number of apartments for each ward. And it's the same for each ward. So, like, if you look at this one, it's 1 through 90. So only 90 players per ward can get an apartment. I see. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, so basically... But since there are so many wards for each residential area, it's pretty easy to get in. Ah... Uh... So basically, as of what I can tell now, houses are hard to get, but apartments yep. are a lot easier. Yes, definitely. Do you need a free company in order to have an apartment, or can you do it as an individual? You can do it as an individual. Um, it's cheaper if you do it through your free company's house. It's like 500000 to do it just directly, like right here, and it's 300000 to get a room at your... Uh, free company's house. Yep, nowhere near that. Oh, that's nice savings. Yep, nowhere near that. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, so uh, let's go clear up the quest. Um, report back to Emmy, which I have no idea. Ah, uh, done it. I pressed the wrong button and I disappeared. Oh, actually, you know what? That worked out. That got me near the entrance. Where is the entrance? Uh, the it first one. Is at the old exchange. Yeah, I pressed A too many times and I fortunately selected this. So, Wait, yeah. come back! This way. Yep. So, Wait, uh. Come back! Yeah, what's that? Oh, is that for me to wait for you? Oh. Well, what are you giving me? I got you a little friend. Aww. Well, what is this? A it's minion. a companion. A minion. So you uh. go to your inventory. And you I select got... use. And then if you go to your character menu and you can scroll down to minion guide, you can summon it from there. Ooh. That's my what my little wind-up lease is. She's a minion. Uh -huh. Apparently I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, marble no, seedling! <laughs> so... It, and what a minion control like? A, it, it just follows, follows you. you. Does it <laughs> do anything? Nope. It just looks adorable, and you can collect them, oh. basically. Oh, they're just collectibles. Yeah. 
collectibles that follow you. <laughs> Fair enough. It's adorable. Now you always have a friend. Always. Forever. Yeah, but different's a little creepy. He's awesome. <laughs> I love the mobile seedling. It's like an eyeball with a mouth that is a plant. <laughs> I don't know. Does it actually have eyes? I, I, I mean, the so. mouth look like... I mean, look at the mouth and doesn't it look like an eyeball <laughs> with, you know, the the iris thing? Like, not eye, eyelids. Yeah, the mouth look like eyelids. It That's just fair. wants to be your friend, dragon. It just wants and to be your friend. Maybe bite your ankles. <laughs> maybe. Okay. I'm over here, magic. You're standing on people. Alright, we should go check out the next part of your main storyline quest. But I don't know where that is. Uh, Central... Should Central Tenelan. Okay, so the easiest way to get to Central Thanalan from here if this way. is going to be, yeah, pretty much north. Run! Be Pop not those tiny little legs! Perhaps via a lunar whale? A <gasps> what? The lunar whale! No. no? I want to ride the lunar whale! Okay, <laughs> I'll run back. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay. Ooh. This thing is so huge. So you'll want to select her, and then if you're using the controller, you hit X and ride Pillion and pick a seat. Um, my choice here is attack. Use a key <laughs> item. Reset striking dummy amity. Wait, I selected. Oh, I selected the striking dummy. Oh, that's because, yeah. You know what? It's mouse. You don't quite have her selected. This is where the <laughs> mouse helps. Target not in range. Indeed. There you go. Ooh, this is a lot faster. Oh, yeah. And There's cooler. There's so many different kind of mounts. And this is <laughs> one of the few mounts that can uh, fit eight people. I think it's one of the only mounts that can fit eight people. Uh, it flies too, I assume? Yeah. Yes. Once you get through Heaven's Ward, you will get the ability to fly on any of your mounts in the... Do you need to go to Blackbrush? Uh, the... the um... No. Or the Coffer uh, and Coffin? Let me figure out where is it. Uh, down okay. south, uh, above final... Uh, the, the Royal Plantations. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oldar's okay. uh, dispatch yard. That's the one. We'll go up higher. This is cool. This nice view from the top. Um, yeah. And I think we are there. Yep. Set me free. Now, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. This way. And that was a uh, pretty fast ride. I won one. <laughs> <laughs> that particular mount costs like $45, I think, now, unless it's still on sale. Wait, did I hear dollars? But don't worry. Yes, yes that is it's a, a cash mod. item. I'm on the mod station. I can't get it with yeah, gills. There... Nope. Only with dollars. Aww. Well, I don't know if they do other kinds of money as well. I assume so. They have Japanese servers, so. Crystals? You can get crystals, but you have to buy crystals with money, too. Fortunately, this is not a pay-to-win game. Yeah, it's not There at all. are options of things Congrats. you can buy in the uh, mod station, mod station, but... It's pretty limited to aesthetics and mounts. Right. And you are still going, you're going to at least get two free mounts, at least. Well, I just want a fast flying mount, so that will work. 
go get one. And when I get up to level 20 and I can use my mount, I've also got the chocobo carriage. Nice. Yes, indeed. Oh, so uh, earlier you were talking about the crafting class and the gathering class. Now, can I... Uh, yes. I know I can get one at level 10, but can I get them all at level 10 or do I need to meet certain requirements to get a second um, crafting class? You can get them all at level 10. I did but, that. Okay, so... But you have to be level 10 in your MSQ and level 10 in your class quest. Yes. Oh, whoops. And there I was thinking so I can get it. we have a little bit of catching up to do. <laughs> It's not going to take long to go through your main storyline quest and get to that point. I promise. It's pretty quick. Okay, well, let's work on the main storyline and try to get us there. Hopefully this stream, although actually I was planning to stop around an hour. But... Uh... It might take a little bit more than an hour, but we can always include picking up and, and taking a look at the... Uh, crafting classes during the next stream. Yeah, I suppose. Well, so, chances are, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to probably do, like, some more grindy beats and miscellaneous side quests, like, off-stream, and... Uh, possibly? And maybe I'll leave the more major things to on-stream, and... Sometimes I'll just do a solo stream, perhaps, just to play through. You guys don't have to join me every time. Okay. Fair enough. I'll probably post another. We should at least team up when we, we get to the point of doing uh, our first and, and couple of dungeons. Um, having some a little bit more experienced players to help you go through your first dungeon and learn the dungeon etiquette is very very helpful not cool. to mention i'm gonna need a good healer to learn how to uh tank well so much for getting crafting class uh like this stream it's very easy to put a lot of hours into this game. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I know this. It's I like so far. I don't the think first I've hit 400 hours yet. Fluffy mentioned a thousand hours. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I've done. I have not quite 400 i think i'm at 370 something um hours played in this game i think i can check i don't know mine because i don't have final fantasy set up for steam so it doesn't track my hours for me ah so you're playing direct off um growing up you think right uh, yeah because for a long time, my Steam was associated with a different Square Enix account, and I couldn't get into it, so I just bought the game over again and got a new account. Oh, that's quite pricey, isn't it? Yes, but luckily the it was the whole pack was for sale, so you got all of the X packs that are out already. Is one damage significant? One damage? Uh, no. At this level? Maybe. <laughs> In general? Uh, so, I have... Okay, so the way I've been going about selecting rewards is looking at the shop selling price. And... Ah... Uh. And also, so basically when you get the choice between a weapon uh, or an equipment and this uh, bronze piece, gold piece or whatever piece. So as you can uh -huh. see, this is what I would be using. Unless it's something that is good for me, which this one is, but I'm not sure how significant one extra damage is. Oh, I see why you're asking. Yeah, so um, if I want to go greed method, 
you know, I will go for the bronze piece. I can get 400 out of this by selling this to a shop. And this sells for 4 gills. <laughs> Although, the other thought is this. I could always get the 400 and buy this. Because the shop sells this for 112, right? Yeah, I'm going great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't stick with that equipment for too long anyway, right? No, you won't. But yeah, I mean if if it says there's a shop selling price, I will assume that I could buy it. And yeah, oh I got someone on the chat who says hi, so there's a David. So hi. Hi. So uh yeah, uh, we are playing Final Fantasy fourteen and we may be actually approaching the end soon because I think we've been on for a while. Yeah. A little so. bit, yeah, a little over an hour. Uh, oh, cuts in. And don't forget to tune in next time. We will go over crafting classes, the way of the hand, and the way of the land. Yep. Be prepared for lots of uh, boring, mindless mining. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can leave the mining for off stream. <laughs> <laughs> mining is fun. <laughs> it is fun when you're doing it, not when you're watching it. That's it is fair. fun when it's even more fun if you're doing it instead of translating or editing. Indeed. Unfortunately, at least with editing, I don't think I could do that. It would take forever to finish something. No, I, you know, I'm in procrastination. Set up macros, and you could probably do it actually. Now that I uh, think about you it. allowed to do that? Yeah. The game has. Oh yeah, um, actually, I did notice there was a, a macro set thing set up here, right? Mm hmm Um So they encourage you macros. Can just Google. A big part of that is because of how complex the game is. Wait, I can oh, what? Target enemy face <laughs> enemy action auto attack. Wait, isn't this an auto farm? That's auto grinding. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't personally use macros. I don't know much about them, to be honest. Probably should learn. Maybe. I've used them for some crafting classes and I think fishing. But I saw one on the fort that seems to suggest I could just leave my character AFK here running a macro and just killing things endlessly. I don't know if I'm reading that correctly. Problem is when you accidentally attack something that you probably shouldn't have. Even if these areas, there's occasionally a monster that'll show up as level 25 or, level or 50. 50. And they're actually even stronger than your typical level 50 monsters. Oh! This is the first one you have to do solo, so we have to kick you from the party now. Oh, well, that's fine. Then in that case, what we can do is we can end off this stream here. Um, and I'll probably do this on a solo stream someday, maybe tomorrow, maybe, or something. And then we can get it back again for crafting bits. Absolutely. Oh, uh, David, I am Fluffy Goblin. I am one of... Dragon's current editors and Beatrix is mine because she is one of Dragon's old editors. And I do think this is probably a good place for me to jump off because it looks like my cat is trying to escape through the balcony. So I'm going to have to go now. Yeah. Have fun! I will talk Yay. to you later. Thank you everybody for watching today. We cannot wait to see you again. Uh, keep 
t you know tuned in at some point we are going to be discussing uh different aspects of the cultivation genre in literature and history um and different aspects of chinese culture so if you are interested in that please hit that subscribe button and uh make sure to check us out later all right excellent you did my outro for me i need that you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> that saves me the trouble oh and if you're out there and you haven't seen it check out my novels on hostednovel.com the links will be down in descriptions i think um, yep, I'm currently translating Everlasting and Immortal Feminine. Accept teleport. Why am I accepting? No, I don't want to teleport. Oh, yes, I, I do want to teleport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot right, I got to sign out at the city. Okay, so, ciao, guys. Yes. Uh, and stream's gonna end here. Bye. Bye. Okay.